and hi welcome back uh youtube to this video of uh, open form again so we're going to talk more about the form dictionary uh function and i just uh, introduced you to a few things okay for example one how to add new entries how to remove new entries and you can find some of these uh extra instructions in the open form guide but uh, if you're confusing no worry you can demonstrate a little bit more for you just the essentials okay so I'm, again i'm in my form dictionary folder which i created the last we created the last video or i created the last video or copied more more like copied in the last video so we know the way to do to interrogate the file is to use form dictionary we just uh, type the path to the case file so for example control dict that will show you everything here now i want to show you a few more tricks okay for example, let's say you just want to print this line, the end time line, right? You just want to print the end time line and nothing else, okay? Because you don't want to see everything else. What do you do? Okay, so what you can do is similar to the last uh, video where you use the entry key. Use the entry key and you type end time, okay? You type end time, you do not uh, type the add entry, the, the set entry or the remove. So if you do this, uh, this will just uh, show you, this will only print out the end time. So let me put it in the useful commands. Okay. To print only this entry. Okay, so uh, you will have a dictionary, form dictionary, dictionary path. Okay, so this is a dictionary path. You just replace that by your own dictionary path and uh you call this the entry name entry name okay so print only this entry so again this is the example i show you uh, how to print that entry only now if you want to print the value only you just uh give the value flag to it okay dash value and then just only the 0 0.5 will come out okay if you want to store this in a variable uh you want to store the value 0 0.5 into a variable uh you can do that using this uh, method okay so i'm going to put this again again uh you just uh, copy this uh a print only the value of the entry so let me do a visual yank and paste here and delete and let's put the value and okay, that's all you need to have okay so that's that's uh, dealing with control dict dictionary in general now what about uh, other things okay you can see over here there are some examples for example you want to change boundary conditions you can do so okay there are also ways you can actually compare differences, but I will not be going through that. You can have a look at that yourself. Okay, but I'm just going through the basics. Okay, for example, you want to change the boundary condition over here. For a form, so you use the form dictionary, enter the path to your to file. You use the entry term, and then we use the set term. However, you'll notice that there are lots of dots here. For example, in a boundary field, dot moving on, dot value is how you actually say that you want to change the um, value of this uh, moving wall whatever it is okay so um let's do that let's try a little bit of uh, using changing the boundary conditions okay so uh let's do uh form dictionary form dictionary useful com oh no form dictionary uh, example file zero u okay so this will be the velocity now let's say i only want to print uh the boundary field okay what what i'll do is i'll go for the entry boundary field okay so this will only print out everything here but you notice we have not dealt with anything with these uh brackets before right we have not dealt with any of these uh brackets okay so what are we supposed to do Okay, so the, the thing we're supposed to do is to add that little dot here. So for example, if you want only the moving wall to be printed, okay, 
if you only want the moving wall to be printed you can just put a dot moving wall here okay so again when you do the boundary field entry all the all, all the boundaries are being printed out if you only want the moving wall entry to be printed out you just type this whole thing then you dot moving wall okay so let's see let's take a look inside moving more you'll have the type so if you only want to print this line out you can put the moving wall and you put a dot type and you press enter and then this will give you only the type or only the type of the, the boundary condition and then if you want the if you just want to print this this text called fixed value and you just put you just uh use the value flag and that will give you the fixed value now if you want to print this also the same thing uh, instead of having the type over here you will replace this by dot value this is not the same as printing the value of this fixed uh of the the entry type over here okay so let me demonstrate so if you want to only print this line you go type this form dictionary example file or whatever your 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 case is to your path is to your directory or to your to your file you type this path you specify the entry and then you will just put uh, um, boundary field moving wall then you just put the type if you want to use if you want to uh, print this line out then you go and put the value Okay, so you see the value here is value uniform 110. That's the speed. Of course, if you want the uniform 110 just to be printed out and nothing else, just enter. And then you'll get uniform 110. Of course, uh, you can use this to set. Okay, you can use it to set, uh, set this as uniform 200, for example. Okay. So that will give that will uh, show that it's been set properly. You can uh, do set, you can print, you can remove, you can add value. Okay. Okay, let's see. Anything else? Okay, so I think I think that about puts it there. Um so let's put in the useful commands. Uh let's see change bc so change boundary condition from dictionary so uh dictionary path entry so you have entry name here dot uh, entry field or something like that so dot uh, just insert whatever whatever thing you have there then you uh, this this will just print the boundary condition. If you want to change the boundary condition, uh, you can do like uh, entry field, entry name, uh, patch name, then uh, type. Okay, so the first thing you type is the entry name, which is the boundary field. Maybe I'll just put boundary field here just to really make it clear. Boundary field. And you insert your page name there and then you just put type okay uh and then what do you do you set it at something set into your bc okay so that's that's what you you want to uh set it as okay okay uh print uh bc so i'll just copy and paste Okay, so uh, if you want to print the boundary condition, you don't you don't put set anymore. You will just uh, you just print the boundary condition. Okay, set BC type. If you just want to print the boundary condition, yeah. I mean you you get the idea where I'm going with this. So print BC. So you don't you don't have a type. And I, and just now I just showed you how to do with the values and everything. Uh, you can do the time, you can do the value, and then you can set. 
So I won't I won't print out every every uh, way of doing it here. Okay, but uh, hopefully this shows you how to do it. And you can do the same for every solutions as well. So you can use from dictionary, example file, system, every schemes. Okay. So again, if I just want this, uh, for example, gradient schemes, right? And you just want the gradient schemes. So gradient schemes, type it out. Oh, sorry. Uh, you need the entry, entry red schemes. Okay, so you just print to the gradient schemes there. Then uh, you want the default. Okay, that will just give you the default Gauss linear. If you want a gradient of P, that will give you an error. Okay, so how do you do the error? I think uh, you use this. Okay, you use the uh, parentheses thing. Okay. So, uh, not, not parentheses, you use uh, apostrophes or something like that. So if you go, if you have useful commands, you can put it here. Um, use phone dictionary with problematic syntax. Okay, so this is one example here. Yeah. So uh, that, will, that will print out the, the gradient of pressure. Print uh, gradient of pressure scheme. Okay, there's a finite volume scheme. Okay, so uh, you can do a set, you can add, um, etc. etc. So you can add as many as you want. Okay, so let, let's try um, changing a boundary condition. So form dictionary example file zero u. Okay, let's change the, the fixed walls to what, a zero gradient, for example. Okay, so what we do, we have entry, fixed walls. Okay, what do we want to do? We want to set, we want to set the type. So we set entry, fixed walls type, set zero gradient. Okay. Now it says that the fixed walls is not found in uh, example file zero u because I probably forgot the boundary field entry here. So boundary field fixed walls type zero gradient. So if we, we take a look at the entry again, we see that the fixed walls is now set at zero gradient. Okay, if we want to add a new a new thing, value. If we want to set the value, um, then we want to set uh, uniform 0, 0, 0. That's some initial value. Uh, you can see that that's how you add it. And that, with that, you can actually uh, ignore lots of the syntax errors. You can save yourself some uh, formatting trouble. You can see it's very uh, helpful. Of course, uh, I'm not. I'm not actually doing proper boundary conditions here. I'm just using showing you how to use form dictionary. And if you want to remove it, no problem. So you just uh, you if you want to remove the value entry, just do this value remove. And uh, if I want to change my type back, what was like the type? This is a no slip. I want to change it back to no slip. Let's change it back to no slip. Okay. So I need value set no slip or oh, type uh, set no slip. I want to set the 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 fixed wall type as no slip. Yeah, the, the syntax always kind of uh, uh, messes with me a bit here, but yeah, basically that's how you you set the the value to no slip. Okay, um, yeah, I I changed it back using form dictionary so uh, hopefully this this uh, gives you a little bit more into some of the form dictionary commands um and probably yeah that's that's it how how do you um how do you want to use form dictionary it is like that uh yeah so that's all i have for now and um i'll probably see you next time i don't want to make this video too thanks for watching I'll see you.
Bye-bye.